This project is sponsored by Crofrazin. Hi, welcome back on my channel. I have, as usual, um, I have something exciting to share. I have something come through the post, um, which is Croft Resin. Never used them before. However, these guys were kind enough to send me a starter kit, which is one kg of resin to test, uh, review and feedback to my audience. Um, what do I think? And they want my honest feedback. So this is what I'm going to give you. Uh, never used them before. So it going to be a good product test to see, you know, how this new product works out. Uh, looking at the packaging, you know, can't really uh, complain. Um, it's just one, one kilo starter kit. However, it comes with a nice designed uh, paper packaging. You will need 50% of resin and 50% of hardener. Um, three minutes steering, then pouring on projects. 24 hour curing time. So this is something we will definitely check in this project. How does it cope against the 20, 24 hour curing time? Uh, Non-toxic, bubble free. Um, you have some instruction on the side, what you need to follow in terms of uh, helping the resin to get all the bubbles out. We will use pressure pots, however, uh, not necessarily needs in every single time. Um, however, I do like to put my project to the pressure pot as long as they fit. But let's open it up. Let's see how does it look like. But more importantly, let's start the project and let's see how Croft Resin will cope with the wooden joy. Thank you. Okay, so let's see what we got inside. As mentioned, non-toxic, bubble-free, a little bit of um, um, tip on the side of the box uh, what you can do in terms of reducing the bubbles inside um so as mentioned is um 50 percent hardener and 50 percent resin so this is the hardener bit and then you have the resin Then what else we got inside? Wow, a 10% off next time you're ordering. How lovely. Oh, we have some other goodies here. Okay, so we have a, a little a plastic stirrer, which we always recommend to use plastic because if you use a wooden stirrer, um, wood tend to release additional air bubbles. So when you work with resin, something you don't want in your product is bubbles um so crop resin did thought, thought about this and they give you plastic stirrers beautiful oh when we all know how sticky and messy resin can be so you also have a set of disposable plastic gloves <laughs>
Okay, let's see how is our first pour of Croft Resin. Um, it has been nine hours between uh, now and the first time I pour the resin. There's absolutely no visible bubbles in the resin. Leaves a little bit of mark, so it's not fully, fully cured, but obviously we can't expect the resin to cure in nine hours. Um, however, is is solid enough for me not to pour the resin without sending the top. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna send rough send a little bit of the top before I'm gonna do the um, the second layer to make sure that the two layers sticks together well. And um, hopefully in another two or three pours, we're gonna be ready. All right, try to send as much as I can. Um, no need to be worried about the, the scratches on the top. Once you put the second layer, it will fill all the little gaps and it will stick together. All right, so a little bit underestimated how much resin actually I will need for this project. And the one kg of resin, what Croft Resin was kind enough to send me is not going to be enough. So I need to improvise. Obviously, I'm halfway through the product. Um, I already had three layer of rough resin uh, and I probably need another two. Um, so what I thought, I have some spare resin at home uh, from a different brand. Um, I will use um, and let's see how it's going to turn out. Actually, it's going to be a quite good uh, test as well how Croft Resin copes against another brand and let's see what the final product looks like. So let's mix up some more of this resin from Germany and um, let's compare them. Final product is here, a gigantic dragon egg. Um, as mentioned at the beginning of the video, halfway through the video, I have run out of craft resin, um, so I had to improvise and use a different brand. And the difference, it is amazingly big. Um, this way through, I have used the different products and here we used Croft Resin. And as you can see, Croft Resin had set extremely clear. You can see all the details inside. And here you see is a little bit yellowish. 
Um, a little bit cloudy, not as nice to see through. And you can also see there's a bit of an exothermic reaction going on. So probably the layer was a little bit too thick and uh, it got a little bit too hot um, during curing. So not, not very good at all. However, Croft resin, definitely a big thumbs up. And, and as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you want to check them out, go on their website. I will link some um, details below. And if you go ahead and order ring, use my link so you get 10% off from your order. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please, as always, subscribe, hit the bell button so you won't miss any of my future projects. Share, like, comment, whatever you like. Um, and thank you. See you next time. K keep safe.